Hello there, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about the complete advanced guide to fishing. So I'm going to assume here, for the most part, that everybody knows how fishing works. I'll go over it very, very briefly. Then we're going to talk about the more advanced ways of fishing. So first thing I want to mention is that there are three different fishing poles. Basic fishing pole, which is good for basically small fish, easy fish, and not very expensive fish to capture. Copper fishing pole can capture just about everything in the iron fishing pole. Um, iron fishing pole is faster. I believe iron fishing pole will let you bring in uh, sharks to the shore if you throw it right on top of them. Um, but it's not otherwise particularly valuable. So uh, it's like, as in the difference between copper and iron is not that much. So we're going to go ahead and find ourselves a fish in here. We're going to use a fish book. Fish book is very, very valuable. We'll talk about that in a little bit of time here. Anchovy right there, not a bad fish to catch. Some anchovies over there as well. So basic fishing, you bring out your fishing pole, you press and hold. The longer you hold, the further it goes, and then you throw it out there. Your goal is going to be to land basically on top of or in front of the fish. Sometimes landing right behind the fish will also work. You can kind of think about fishing uh, and the fish. Imagine they have like a, a sight radius, right? And they can see all the way around them in 360 degrees, but they see better in front of them than behind them or to their sides. So you really want to try to get it in front of them or directly on top of them um, in order for the most accurate and, and quick chance of catching them. Then you basically just only press the left mouse button when they're not actively swimming away. If you are pressing it while they are actively swimming away, your stamina on your, on your bar, on your fishing pole will go down and uh, it'll get closer to breaking free. So we're gonna use a fish book again. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. There's like three of them just sitting out here in the middle. Oops, don't wanna get that far out. Um, so let's we'll just toss it again. I wanna show you one other thing about fishing that's basic and then we'll go for the more advanced stuff. So if you have something on the line and you hit right click, it'll cancel it. That's very, very important. Why would you wanna cancel a fish? Let's say you're hunting for a specific fish. You wanna bring something in and uh, you don't wanna catch a you know very poorly valuable fish or something like that. You're trying to fill your inventory up with good stuff. Uh, you might say, oh, I know what fish that is um, and I'm gonna let it go. So right here, you can kind of see how this right here is a jungle perch. Look at it in the water. There you go, that's what it looks like. And if we go up to this jungle perch, you're gonna find out that it looks, that's a silver perch, another silver perch, and then a jungle perch out that way. You're gonna see that they look, the, the, the we gotta get over that jungle perch, right over there. Um, it looks basically exactly like the other one. All of these fish have different models, and those models are the same in the water as they are outside of the water. This makes it so that you can realistically just look and find out which one you want, right? Uh, however, you'll notice that I have a specific item. This is part of that advanced side, the fish book. There's also the bug book. How you get these is you must have donated 45 different specimens to the uh, museum over there. And then you can buy one of these books. I'll show you where they're located just for ease of access. But the fish book is hugely, hugely valuable, especially when you're trying to make a lot of money doing something like, I don't know, maybe uh, hmm, catching barracuda, which are very easy to find at night in the summer and spring and are worth 16,000 dinks a piece. So you'll see right here, that is the bug book. If you buy it, then the fish book will come next and so on and so forth. They're not cheap, about 45,000. What, you got a croc there? They're not cheap, about 45,000, right? So you definitely don't want to um, just, I gotta jump out of that one. Gotta jump again. You don't want to buy the wrong one if you don't have to, but if the book, if the bug book's the first one in there, you might want to buy it just so it doesn't get back into the rotation. Kill that crocodile real quick there. Anyway, so that is the fishing book. The fishing book and bug book are highly, highly valuable, and they're really easy, really good use to being able to find rare and valuable fish. So we've kind of got the basics done now. And we've talked about the fish book. I suggest making a, a beeline for the books as fast as possible. Here we have the crab pot. So uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't put that in the right location. I tried it at the very last second last night to try and get something into the crab pot for you guys. Crab pot is uh, five copper, two iron, uh, two spine flex resin, uh, and four palm wood, right? So it's kind of expensive to make. And what it's used for is basically you want to put it in places where you might be able to pick up stuff like that, a blue mussel, right? 
So it's there to uh, get those sort of underwater uh, valuable um, different things right there. So there it is. It's floating in the water. The crab pot. You're gonna notice something though. You're gonna notice that the top of the crab pot is up. Well, what you have to do is you have to put a meat inside. I don't know. I haven't tested all the different kinds of meats yet, so I'm not sure if certain meats are more valuable or bring more valuable items in or anything like that. But um, you have to put in different meats. I, again, I'm not sure. I haven't tested all of them. I don't know. This is the most valuable meat, or this meat doesn't work, or so on and so forth. So um, that's how the crab pot works. Now, a uh, couple more things I want to talk about, and that is the three most valuable fish, right? And I'm going to show you how to find each one of these fish. So, valuable fish number one, and the, the one that make the best profit off of is going to be the um, barracuda. Barracuda spawns at night uh, in August, uh, or sorry, summer, August, and I believe also winter is what I was told. Um, but for a while there, we, we, we only knew that it was uh, summer and uh, fall. Uh, autumn, that is to say. And then the other ones, the other really valuable fish are marlin. And again, I'm going to show you clips on where to find these guys, what they look like in the water. And then finally, the most valuable fish in the game is the tuna, redfin tuna. And I'm going to show you a clip on that. So hang tight. We'll watch those clips together. And uh, that'll be all you need to know about fishing. That could be another barracuda. Let's see. Can we make another six? 16, that is to say. 16,000. Barracuda. Is this the Barracuda land? It looks like one, guys. I can get 32,000 in two catches. This is how to make early game money. We'll have the new shop paid off in another catch of a Barracuda. Like, listen, he makes me work for it. He runs. Definitely that fish runs, but... My guess is that's like the challenge meter, right? As how frequently or how far away they run. But it doesn't seem like there's... There's not too much of a challenge, you know? There's not... It's not particularly hard. It's not massively relaxing or rewarding, but there it is. Another Barracuda, guys. 36,000. That's not a Barracuda. That might be another one. Is it this? Is it really this easy? Is it really this easy to farm? No other fish. You stay away. I'm pretty sure that's a barracuda right there. Pretty sure we got ourselves another one. That's insane. That's gonna be what? Thirty-two, fifty-eight thousand. Is that right? 48,000? 48,000, I think. Ah, right, we'll check it with the with the add-on in a second in the mod. See what the stack is worth. Or, I guess, uh, it won't stack them. Fish don't stack in this game. That's the first time it went a different direction. That's interesting. Barracuda number three. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. How to hunt for Barracuda. Those look like flathead, whatever you call them. <gasps> there it is. There's a marlin. Here we are, way down in the southern ocean. I'm going to try not to scare it too much, so we're going to stop right here. Boy, here we are. We got a marlin on the line. We're gonna be very careful not to stress this. Uh, stress this too much. I wouldn't suggest going for one without a copper fishing rod. You, basically, so far you can catch anything with a copper fishing rod. It's been my experience. But with a basic one, I really don't think you could catch this because the drain and the like. I would be almost completely drained now with the stamina on the on the thing. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, marlin. Not too hard to find. Really, really easy to see. I figured they would be since they use the models in the ocean, but uh, but we are something to keep in mind. We are south. We are very south. 
you know? But we were able to see it from a decent amount of decent distance away. But we're almost as south as south goes in this ocean right now. You kind of see, and he actually spawned in, in what I would consider a not particularly deep zone of the southern area. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we even go? We can't even go further than this, I bet. Things stop spawning. What do we got here? This thing is big. Tuna? I think this is tuna. Nighttime, northern beach, off the coast. About 7 o'clock here. We found ourselves tuna. I think that's what this is. Ooh, it's even giving me a run for my money with this pole. The iron fishing pole. Yellowfin tuna. That is the most expensive fish. Uh, and maybe the most massive fish in the game. So, excellently done, guys. Really nice to have this uh, this fish book now. So, Barracuda we got out here. Looks like he's heading to the right. We're going to keep fishing. I do appear to have missed him entirely. Did not wind up enough, I think. Or he turned. Let's give it a bit. Oh, I see him out there. He's really out there, though, to be honest. I don't know if I can reach him. Oh, another yellow fin tuna, though. Okay. This is the spot and the time for yellow fin tuna. The most profitable, expensive, at least, fish in the game. Not as common, especially in the early game as Barracuda, because Barracuda are all summer, and they're really easy to pick out in the summer. But this is our second yellowfin now. We're not going to sell both of them, because I, I always make sure I get one for the um, uh, for the donation for the uh, museum. I love museums. Excellent, though. Vale, anchovy, Barracuda right here. <laughs> Okay.